Hello. This is a video about how to detect suspected use of generative artificial intelligence, also known as AI, in post-secondary assignments. Generative AI is not going away. There are many companies that are creating products that are going to be capable of writing students' assignments using generative AI. OpenAI, which is famously known for its chat GPT, um, has just been offered $10 billion in investment by Microsoft. They are going to be coming out with a product called Ch uh, GPT-4 very soon. Google is currently working on a generative AI called Lambda, and there's also startups called Stability AI and Character AI that are also coming up with generative AI tools. All of these tools will assist students in essentially plagiarizing their assignments. So how are students actually using generative AI in their assignments? If you go to the URL that's on your screen to chat.openai.com slash chat, this is chat GPT. So what students are doing is they are typing in any written assignment instructions and from that, the generative AI tool will produce answers or statements um, for the student insofar as they do not need to write their own essays. They do not need to do their own research because the generative AI tool, while not perfect, will do it for them. So give it a try. Go to chat.openai.com slash chat. Type in any written assignment instruction that you have or you can also copy and paste any test question that you have. Click Submit and watch the magic. Here's an example of how ChatGPT works. I'm going to type in the search bar, does systemic racism exist in Canadian healthcare systems? And I'm just going to press the search bar. You can see that the generative AI tool is beginning to write um, almost an introductory paragraph for me about systemic racism in the Canadian healthcare system. So from here, I know that if I need to write any sort of response in an academic paper, I need examples. So I'm just going to type in examples of systemic racism um, in Canadian healthcare systems, and I'm just going to press the enter button. And again, you can see that this generative AI tool is pretty much providing me with uh, supporting points for my thesis that systemic race. This not only works on humanities papers, it also works in terms of answering test questions, answering lab questions. And the older that these chat generators get, these AI generators get, the smarter they become. So, how do professors, how do teachers combat this new form of plagiarism? Let me show you. Edward Tian of Princeton has developed a, an AI generating detector. So if you go to gpt0.me, um, you can take a look at how this works and just click get started. You can sign up for um, any sort of new information and any of the new products that they're working on. But if you scroll down, click try GT GPT-0 Classic. What you will do is you will copy and paste the suspected AI generated text into this gray box. Once you have pasted the generated text into the text box here, and press control enter, you can scroll down and get your AI score below. And again, it is going to tell you exactly what the detector looked at in terms of variables and parameters um, to indicate whether or not what you are looking at is likely AI generated. So coming down to the bottom, you click get GPT and your result will identify whether or not your text is likely generated by AI. So here, as you can see, it says your text is most likely to be AI generated. Is this a perfect solution to detecting generated artificial intelligence? No, 
but it is a good first step to attempt to identify if the text you have received, if it has been generated using artificial intelligence. Thank you very much for watching.